crazy. Also, look, this look is at way. the hair. If y'all have not peeped already, look at that. I was doing that whole tutorial as if this was like the worst time I ever did my hair. And now I think it's like the best. Like, look at that. Look at the, the, the beautiful frills. Oh my God, me and Zay's hair came out so good. And we actually have a tutorial for you guys on how to do it safely. So yeah. Hey lovelies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Sierra and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest and the healthiest way that you can achieve your favorite protective styles this summer without using gels. So it's summertime and I know that it is, black girls, this is our season. This is box braid season. This is full lock season. This is Senegalese twist. This is a season where we often do our protective styles so that way we can make sure we can just do whatever we want to do in the summer whether that's swimming whether that's travel whatever the case may be it's braid and protective style season but something that me and Zay talk about often on this channel is about how sometimes the protective styles that we get often don't really protect our hair because they may be being done by people who don't care about protecting our hair and so I would be remiss if I did not come on here and show you guys how both me and Aze achieve our favorite, favorite, favorite protective styles using weave, using braiding hair without messing up our healthy, thick, natural hair. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please remember to watch this video so that way you see me and Aze's methods to make sure that our hair is actually healthy protected and growing in our protective style so without further ado let's get right into it we do our faux locks and all of our braiding styles we literally do not use gel this is what we use hot water conditioner this is the Suave Shea Butter and Almond Conditioner. This is like one of our faves. And olive oil. That is it. We do not use any gels when we do our hair. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna actually braid up my hair. And then once I get to the front, I will show you guys how to do it. Hey lovelies, I am back. So I told you guys I would come back when I am close to the top of my head and this is what we are working with as you can see my hair is already pre-sectioned and these are the braids that I have all around my head these are the braids that I have all around my head and this is how they came out with no gel so if you see white that's a mixture of conditioner olive oil and one more thing that I'm about to tell y'all so I actually had to use some shea butter. This is pure, pure, pure shea butter. I do not use this all the time and I've done this without using shea butter at all. However, I am running extremely low on olive oil and I had to resort to using shea butter as another oil and sealant for my hair. And I also ran out of my favorite conditioner. So I'm using this substitute, which is the Suave Keratin Infusion color care conditioner so this is not one that i use all the time but this bottle is also empty because i like it so you can either pick up the suave one that means they always recommend or if you have dyed hair you can definitely check this conditioner out because it works really well for dyed hair as well so boom how to do your hair in a protective style without using gel to avoid all of that itchiness like, look at that. That looks pretty good. Hot water. And I'm just gonna moisturize my hair with the water. Moisturize my hair with the water. I'm gonna untwist my pre-parted twist. All I'm gonna do is moisturize and detangle my hair like normal. So after I walk, uh, wet my hair, I take a very small amount of conditioner, rub that in my hands, and I put it on each section. Put it on each section. And you see, my hair is starting to nice and curly. Gonna add a little more water, angling like 
normal. Now I'm going in with some olive oil. So now that I have the water conditioner and oil in my hair, this next step is optional. Like I said, I'm using shea butter because I'm low on olive oil. And shea butter also is just a good sealant. So if you know that you like to swim or you know what I mean, you just want your hair to stay moisturized for a longer period of time. Once you do your water, your conditioner, and your olive oil, going in with a heavier sealant can definitely help your hair underneath your protective style to stay moisturized. And that moisture will definitely help it to stop being so itchy. So now I'm going to just go ahead and put that like this. Put that like that. Just need to move it out of the way. So once the water, conditioner, olive oil, and shea butter is in my hair, you just braid your hair like normal. I'm going to go ahead and make sure my hair is detangled before I put these braids in. And it feels pretty detangled to me. To run my fingers through it a little more, just to be sure. And I think that this is the best way to preserve the health of your hair because you're doing it yourself. Like this is a very easy way you can do your hair at home and make sure that your protective style is actually what it's supposed to be, which is protective. So instead of having a whole bunch of gel in your hair, instead of blow drying your hair damn near straight just to do a style, with this, you're actually making sure that your hair is healthy underneath your protective style and i think that that really makes all the difference like i said Jose and i have multiple lock tutorials so much so we made a lock tutorial playlist so if you want to see us do our hair in the past do our locks in the past you can go check those tutorials out as well but what we didn't explain was how we don't really use gel in doing our styles anymore and about how that really helped us both to grow our hair and make sure our hair was protected so this is the method that we use we always use this method and anytime you see our hair in our locks because that's our fave protective style this is what we do water conditioner olive oil optional shea butter plait your hair up all around in box braids whatever parts you like triangles squares and that's it your hair will be protected underneath your locks instead of your hair being blow dried brittle dry and itchy underneath your braids so now i'm just braiding this up and it's turning a little bit white because of that conditioner and that shea butter but that will go away once the hair air dries. And this is what the braid looks like. And you don't have to braid your hair down all the way at the end. You can honestly start the braid, get halfway, and then do a two-strand twist. But I... This time around, just wanted my hair to be braided all the way towards the end. And then once the braid starts to get small, I just twist it. Just twist it. And this is that braid for that section. So, yeah, that's literally the method that I do. That's a way to prevent your hair from being dry and itchy and just <sighs> not protected during the summer. So if you're looking for a way to protect your hair during the summer, this is a way you can do your protective style at home and avoid the nonsense. So aside from that, how are you lovelies doing? How are you lovelies doing? Um, 
me and Zay are doing well. We're both doing our locks and our locks are iconic. Like they really are. And I just wanna say to anyone who may be concerned about the parts not being that neat because of gel, Zay and I have always done our hair like this and I really don't think it makes a difference. I personally like the way my hair comes out without using gel, as Zay does as well. We still receive a lot of compliments on our locks, even though the parting may not be super perfect, even though things could be tightened up more with gel. I really just don't think that it's worth it. Like it's really not worth it in both of our opinions to be suffocating our scalps with gel and something that's supposed to be protecting our hair. Like using a lot of moisturizing agents is different from something that literally dries your hair out like a gel so if you're someone who likes extremely extremely neat parts and you know you don't want to sacrifice the neatness of your parts then maybe this is not the method for you but if you're someone who wants to try a protective style during the summer but you still want your hair to actually grow in your style then employing this method could definitely definitely help you and some people's hair still grows with a lot of that gel in their hair like i said some people's hair definitely does grow even though they may be using gels however i don't know if you guys are familiar but that clump that that dirt buildup, that big clump of hair if someone does not take that out properly that could literally lead to your hair coming out at the roots so that gel gets trapped around the new growth that your protective style is trying to promote and then when you go to take that down your new growth and what you worked hard to grow literally comes out with it because it was suffocated by that gel. So when you see people having that big buildup clump and they're just combing it out, maybe it's because they don't know better, but that literally is so oppositional to hair growth. So another big reason why both Zay and I do not opt for using gel is because it can cause that big dirt buildup clump that can literally lead to you losing the hair that just grew in your protective style. So I really don't believe that using gel is worth it for a summer style if you are trying to grow your hair longer, thicker, healthier, and stronger. So I wanted to just come on here and show you guys this method that both me and Zay like to do because it is possible to have a protective style that's actually protective. It is possible to wear weave or braiding hair and have your hair still grow, but that possibility has to be executed in a very particular way. So we do not advise anyone to go to stylists and get their scalp suffocated by gels and stuff. Or yeah, we don't we don't ever we don't advocate for that because that literally can be so hard to take out and can cause so much damage to your hair if your hair just can't take that buildup if your hair and your scalp can't take that itching that that gel be causing you know so this is the method that me and Zay like to do and as you can see our parts are pretty clean and our hair is very moisturized underneath it. Those of you who do not know, I talked about this in a previous video when I was given um, things I wish I knew before dyeing my natural hair. Mental health plays such a huge role in my life and in just my own self care. And to be a little more specific, like when I'm struggling mentally, my hair suffers. Like I'm someone who I've had bald spots because of stress, thinning, extreme breakage, and just I really, really struggled with my hair, my natural hair, when my mental health was struggling. So I really, really, really just enjoy coming on here and also sharing with you guys any of the ways in which me and Aze can make self-care easier for us as Black women. And that's really at the root of all of the stuff in our Black Girl self-care brand as well. Like, whew, y'all. It'd be hard <laughs> like as a black woman it can be very very hard to just feel like we're taken care of and I feel like 
there's so many ways in which this world tries to attack us and tries to harm us and i don't care if it's through hair if it's through medicine if it's through just discrimination or microaggressions it's just so many ways in which this world really tries to mess with us so having a community like you all in a lovely squad and being a part of building that community with the Zay so that way we as black women can learn how to take care of ourselves is just so valuable to me so I really just appreciate every single one of you who is a part of this community and I appreciate every single one of you who have been shopping from our site and just enjoying and just finding value in what me and Zay share because it's truly 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 so important for us to take care of each other and learn how to take care of ourselves so if you're new here and you haven't checked out the getting back to the basic series be sure to check that out because that is where Isaiah and I share all of our tips and tricks and self-care hacks with ease affordability and accessibility at the center because we all deserve to be able to take care of ourselves with what we have access to and if you're new here welcome i really hope that you find so much joy and peace and healing in your mental health journey and in your natural hair journey so are my parts without any gel and like i said i'm going to go ahead and install my locks and show you guys how i install these and the blonde ones so keep watching i want this to be a real mental health check-in lovelies like how are y'all doing like honestly i feel like it's so easy to constantly just say that we're good we're good we're good and sometimes we're not good so i really do hope that y'all actually are good because i'm not gonna lie even though it's summertime i feel like i've been pretty tired i don't know if it's the astrology of things i don't know if it's just doing everything that me and as they have to do but like I have been just a little tired. Also could just be tired from doing my hair right now. But me and Zay was talking about this. Like, because we do everything in-house, it can be very, very, very tiring, you know? Because I know that a lot of girls or people in general, a big part of their self-care... Sorry, I said car or motorcycle something. A big part of their self-care is like going and getting things done for themselves and that's not really something that Isaiah and I do quite often like if we want our nails done we have to do it if we want our hair done we have to do it like if we want anything done in particular we're usually the people to do it and there's plenty of reasons behind that I spoke to those earlier like people be really not caring about our health and wellness and i'm not trying to get my hair messed up by nobody because that wouldn't be self-care if that wouldn't be conducive to my self-care either but i still think that it can be pretty tiring having to do everything in-house and especially since zay and i are gearing up to travel like i said she's doing a vlog now we're doing a vlog now just preparing for this trip and i'm like dang sometimes i wish i could just go pull up at a hair appointment get my hair done you know do that kind of thing but that's not how i like to navigate so that's something that's a little tiring having to do my hair and do my nails and do everything that i want to do but like Isaiah mentioned before, sometimes sacrifices have to be made. Would I rather do my own hair or would I rather have someone mess up my hair or be jealous and cut my hair off or something? I don't want that. So here I am at whatever it is in the morning. <laughs> or it's not morning. Ooh, it's only 9 o'clock, y'all. It's only 9 o'clock. Here I am doing my hair. Go ahead and do that. And then we tuck it in. Hook it in. 
Now I'm just gonna unravel the lock a little bit so that way I can wrap it around to cover my hair. And yeah, sometimes instead of unraveling it, I just open it up. And now I just cover. So the good news is this style is so, so easy to do. Like I'm not the best braider. I'm not the best corn rower. But I know how to look cute. <laughs> like I know how to do the best I can with what I know how to do. And I really think that this is like the easiest style. Like plaiting your hair up, not using any gel, not worrying about the particular parts because I'm doing locks and just wrapping my real hair up with the lock itself. And as you can see, I use pre-made locks because everything, man, me and Zay, we're easy people. We really like to do things as easily as possible. And because I'm not getting my hair done by nobody else, I'm really not trying to put myself under all of the stress and strain of trying to not this braid or do all of that stuff by myself, knowing dang well, I am not the best braider. So this is my signature style. You will be seeing me do this style until further notice, until I find something even easier than this, which I doubt. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at the little diamond. Okay, Styles and Pinterest. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah. That's what I... That's what's been on my mind. I feel like because me and Zay do everything in-house sometimes, sometimes it can get be tiring even when I'm trying to do self-care. But then I just have to really just remember, like, look. At the end of the day, I do my stuff in-house for a reason. And I know that preserving my health by doing stuff myself is more important than convenience so yeah it would be convenient for me to get my hair done by everyone go to the regular nail salons do this and do that but i really do not like the idea of sacrificing my health or cleanliness or care just for something to be done quickly and seemingly conveniently plus it saves so much money like doing your hair like this saves so much money let's see Just gonna do it like that. Looks good to me. So yeah, the battle of convenience versus doing stuff in house sometimes it be getting me. But I'm like, I work way too hard to grow my hair to let my tiredness let somebody come do it and mess it up like i'm sorry i'm not doing that like i've recovered from bald spots i've recovered from thinning i've recovered from heat damage i've recovered from people just being careless and ripping my hair out so i'll be darned if i go back to any kind of shop and let them rip my hair out just because I'm tired of doing it. Like, that's why I love the way that me and Zay approach our hair care and just life in general anyway. I refuse to look at my hair, look at the things that I need to do to take care of myself as burdensome. Those things are not burdensome. They are things that I'm very lucky that I get to take time to do. So changing my perspective on that has been helping me or helps me in moments like this where I'm like, you know what, I'm tired. You know what I mean? Oh, this would be easier. Like who told me that doing my hair was a burden? Who said that the time that it takes me to do what I need to take care of myself is too much time? The world told me that because they want me to just shut up and do other stuff, but I'm not. I'm gonna take the time it needs I need to take to take care of myself I'm going to take the time that I need to execute things in the healthiest way in the best ways possible for me and that's just that's just what I'm going to do so to anyone out there who is trying to learn how to do their own styles at home trying to learn how to just take better care of themselves welcome welcome lovely i hope that you're finding very easy 
and inexpensive and accessible methods to do what you have to do from me and Azay in this channel and just overall. Like, I just really am so over sacrificing my health of just and having to deal with people who are just completely careless because luckily Azay hasn't dealt with a lot of some of the natural hair things I mean she's dealt with some but baby if y'all want to get into the things that this head has gone through I'm talking people lying and <laughs> saying going to a doobie shop and then them lying and saying that they gave me a blowout when in reality they burned my scalp with relaxer like i just i can't like the the the, the hair horror stories y'all in the comments talking about your hair horror stories i feel you because y'all are not crazy and as much as they like to make it seem like those are isolated incidents things like that are very commonplace and that's why we advocate for people to learn how to do stuff at home so if you have the time and if you have the ability to learn how to do some of your stuff in-house, do not look at it as burdensome. Look at it as a blessing. And if you like to, if you would like to learn how to do more of your self-care regimens and stuff in-house, this is definitely the space for you because we're no longer messing ourselves up under the guise of convenience. It's not convenient to have your hair ripped out because a braiding shop doesn't care about it. It's not convenient to have your hair ripped out and raked out because people think that your hair takes too much time versus how much time it takes other people to do their hair. It takes them to do other people's hair. Like I'm not, I'm not beat. And that's why even if things are not perfect, at least you tried and gave it your best shot. And I'm sure that your best is more than good enough. So let me go ahead and insert the rest of the honey so then I can come back and show y'all how to put these in. So I'm gonna start by splitting the Cuban twist hair up into two pieces. And don't worry about me being rough. I'm being rough because this hair is rough. So then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the crochet hook in. I'm gonna pull the hair through. And then you just wanna wrap this like a regular faux lock. I don't know if you lovelies know how to do faux locks, but this is basically like the easiest way to do it you just put the hair in two pieces you hold one and then you wrap the other piece that you have around and I'm actually gonna end up using this Cuban hair to be the base of my lock I didn't have a lot of the water wave hair so I didn't know at the time that I could have just used the the hair that I'm gonna use to cover this one as my base like I said, I was working with scraps and just doing the best I could with what I had. So I'm just going to make sure that my whole, my real hair is completely covered with this Cuban twist hair. And then once this base is done, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this with the prettier water wave hair. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. So right now I'm just wrapping this up like a traditional faux lock. And... I picked up another piece so that way I can extend it and make sure that my hair was covered and that's pretty much it. So now I have to go back in and do my blondes and my honeys, like my blonde locks and my honey blonde locks and yeah, just keep wrapping, keep wrapping it, keep wrapping it until you get to a length that you're satisfied with and then that's pretty much how you do it. So keep watching because I'm going to show you guys how to make these look even better than what they look like now. So now I'm just rolling it around to finish off that lock so I can move on to making this have a better butterfly effect. I am back. So right now I'm just gonna be doing some touch-ups. I made the mistake of doing the front of my locks first. And you know how you do the back of your hair first and those are like practice, you get the hang of it. I did the front first, so now I have to go in and do some touch-ups. So I'm going to be using this Free Tress Water Wave hair to fix these blonde locks because I used that Cuban Twist hair that I'm not too familiar with and it left some gaps. So luckily I had some of this Water Wave hair on hand that I'm just going to use to cover up all of these imperfections. And I actually like this hair better anyway because it's going to give me that butterfly lock look so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that 
So now I'm using the same method that I showed you guys with the Cuban twist hair to actually make this lock look even better than it does now. So you really just wrap this hair around and you can be a little more loose with it so that way you can have some pretty frills and some pretty curls. And like I said, these locks are like distressed, they're boho, they're not meant to be perfect because I never do my locks in a way where they're perfect because I feel like this way looks more natural and just cute better to me so this is how i wrap that free trust hair around my original lock with the cuban twist hair base and yeah it came out really cute and you see now everything is nice and covered up and it looks really pretty So yeah, lovelies, that's basically it. I'm just gonna go back in and cover all of my blonde locks so that way my hair is not peeking out. And that's the method. I really don't know how to explain it. I just wrap it around. So yes, lovelies, I'm just wrapping that water wave hair all the way around. And upon reflection, I probably would have wrapped the hair around the base, that top part, so that way it could look more uniform. But I still like the way that the hair came out and I really don't care about things being perfect but if you guys would want to you can definitely wrap it starting from the top and yeah like i think that these um covering the cuban twist hair definitely set the look off because it ended up looking so much better um so you guys can definitely go ahead and try to use just this curlier hair to make the lock but i personally think that having the cuban twist base is going to make sure that the locks are not too skinny or see-through my hair is much thicker now and longer so having my hair be covered with the cuban twist definitely helped me a lot with achieving the look so yeah all you're going to do is wrap all of these around like wrap the water wave hair around and then you're definitely good to go and as you can see this hair makes a beautiful beautiful butterfly lock and from my lock tutorials in the past i love when there's a little bit of curl and a little bit of like boho look to my locks so i wasn't feeling my hair until it was completely done this time but i definitely think that this is one of my favorite favorite times doing my locks i've done these locks at least like 12 times by now so that means a lot saying that this was like one of my favorite times so definitely try out using this curlier water wave hair and the cuban twist base because i think that that definitely is an upgrade from what i've done in the past so yeah i'm just giving you guys another example on how i wrap it and get the lock to stay together and then that is what it is looking like it came out so pretty it came out so so pretty okay lovelies i'm gonna go do the same method for the rest of these and then i will be right back right, right back but as you can see my hair is fully covered because i absolutely hate when my hair is sip like seeping through these locks so i just took that free tress hair and wrapped it around and i'm gonna do that for these and then i'll be back I'm back lovelies and this is the final look. So this is the method that you can use to do your faux locks this summer without using gel to promote extreme natural hair growth. And right now I'm just showing you what my hair looks like currently. And I love the curls, I love the frills. And had I had more hair, I would have definitely went back in and made it more even. And this is what my hair looks like when I do have a lot more hair to make things even. But all in all, this is the lock method that I use to promote extreme natural hair growth. Hey lovelies, I'm back and this is actually the final look. Oh my goodness y'all, I absolutely love the way that this came out. And yeah, like I said, I have multiple tutorials doing these locks, but I think that this is actually one of my fave, my fave times doing this look. And like I said, I didn't use any gel. No gel was used in this process, okay? I didn't use anything like that, so period. I think that my parts came out pretty clean. Everything looks really good. And actually, me and Azay just came from a water park chow, and my hair still looks good. So if you're looking for a very easy summer look to do, something that's very affordable, something that you can wear 
in the water or just wear throughout the summer and something that won't rip your edges and your hair out this is definitely what you can try and yeah i love this protective style at this point this is my signature this is my signature the blonde locks are my signature so i'm gonna always always show y'all new and even more like effective efficient ways to do this style because this style is one of my favorites so i love you lovely so so much please let me know if you enjoyed this look and i will see you guys next time i'm sure azay mentioned it in her vlog we have a vlog coming out about our time at the water park and all of that stuff and both of our hair is done so i don't know who's coming out whose tutorial is coming out first but best believe y'all will see the both of them cutie look at her and her fabletics period 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 oh my god it's so crazy so yes our locks is done we outside the summertime lovelies if you're looking for a cute summer style to do definitely check out and try these out we love y'all and we will see y'all soon Bye.